Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you a variety of ways that you can texture the T-bowl that you created in class through pinching. At this point, you should have a pretty even bowl, about a quarter of an inch thin walls, a foot ring attached that has been fully blended. You can see the T-bowl here is still quite plastic because there's flex with it, so it hasn't quite become leather hard. I'm working now on just smoothing and compressing that lip and trying to reduce any cracking. However, if I do continue to flex my bowl, it will continue to crack. Here I'm holding it carefully and smoothing the surface with a damp clay sponge. This particular type of sponge is just a cosmetic sponge, which works quite well for smoothing the surface. The first technique I want to share with you is called impressing. This works best when your clay is plastic, and I find it actually works the very best on a flat slab, which your T-bowl is not. So if you do use impressing, you will need to be careful to not press so hard that you crack your bowl or distort the shape of it. Since this bowl is still plastic, it's a good stage for stamping or impressing, but I will need to support the bowl from the inside so that I do not crush or cave the wall in. Experimenting with this orange juice cap, I'm rolling the textured edge up the wall of my tea bowl. You can see that particular roll created a small crack in the edge there again which I will now need to go into and smooth and get rid of. So I guess this is the uh, this is the hurdle you have to get over if you stamp, not to stamp so hard that it distorts or cracks your bowl. Often found objects like this chair peg works really well for impressing. Really, any objects you can find that are firm and have an interesting texture for stamping. We do have a bin filled with letter stamps that you can build your own words and create an impression of a word or a sentence or a poem, and other variations of small hand stamps that will leave interesting textures on the surface of your clay. Even a wooden modeling tool, which we have lots of different shapes and sizes, pressed into your bowl will also leave an interesting stamped texture. And this is just a repeated stamping to create a pattern. You can explore our bin of textured objects and see what you can do with that. The next type of texture decoration works best when the bowl is leather hard. This particular bowl is now leather hard. It is firmed up enough where the bowl will not flex when I hold it. It is stiffer and all of these tools here are different types of detail carving tools. There's a variety of small loop tools like this round one. When you carve into the surface, you are not cutting all the way through, but you are carving down through the surface. This particular loop tool has quite a wide circle, so it is leaving a wide carved line. Again, you will want to support your bowl from the inside as you do this to not distort the walls of your bowl. It is leather hard, but it could still bend and move in ways that are not good for the bowl. I like to hold my bowl fairly close to my body when I'm carving, so I have more control over the tools. If you're looking for a very thin line, these wooden pointed sticks will give you the thinnest line. They're like sharpened pencils without the graphite.
These are also good tools for carving the name into the bottom of your tea bowl as well. This is a different variation on a loop tool. That is allowing me, a, again, a wider carved line that is creating kind of a sharp undercut on that particular edge. This takes a little bit of practice and getting used to, but carving is absolutely best done at the leather hard stage. If you try to carve when your bowl is too soft, you will distort the bowl and the carvings will not show up neatly. A final type of texture that we can explore is a technique called applique. Applique is the process of taking other small bits of clay and adding it to the surface of your tea bowl. Here I'm shaping a simple flat diamond piece that I'm going to attach to the side of my bowl and possibly continue a ring around the bowl to create a pattern of diamonds. If I want to join a piece of clay to my bowl, it is essential that I use a scoring tool, which is this serrated metal rib tool. I take the serrated side and aggressively rough up or score the surface of the bowl that I will add the clay to. It's important to have this texture so that the piece of clay does not slide off. Then I will take a bottle of slip and apply it as if it were glue. I'm going to apply it to the bowl as well as scoring and slipping the piece I'm going to join. When I join them, it is very important that I provide enough compression. Notice I give it a slight wiggle and a good compression, and the extra slip should e ooze out of the seams, and that can be wiped away with your finger or a clean paintbrush. You want to make certain that there are no gaps between your applique and your bowl, because as it dries, the clay will shrink and the applique will pop off the surface. What I'm using here is a small press mold that I created by taking some old button parts and casting them into plaster. By taking the plastic clay and pressing it into the mold, I'm able to remove it and then remove the excess clay, leaving me with the indented shape that I pressed my clay into. This can be a technique for adding multiple pieces of applique that are identical to one another. Once you have a mold, you can create multiples. So with these different techniques, whether you choose to use impressing when the bowl is plastic, carving when the bowl is leather hard, applique, when the bowl is somewhere between plastic and leather hard, you will need to score and slip your surface. And then finally, very importantly, you will want to take that wooden stick tool and sign the bottom of your bowl in a way that is easily recognizable and will not fade. Any uh, carved sections that are clinging to the bowl those little extra goobers can get flaked out with a dry toothbrush when the bowl has dried. Strive to choose an interesting design or repeated pattern for the texture of your bowl. Enjoy! Mm -hmm.